It was supposed to be a routine night, nothing more than another quiet session of deep sky imaging, another opportunity to watch a comet drift with ghost-like calm through the flood of solar light, the kind of work astronomers had done countless times before. But what occurred on the night of November 10th, 2025, was anything but routine. The new images of 3 Atlas, our third confirmed interstellar object, appeared not with fanfare or a dramatic burst of data, but in a subtle, almost unremarkable stream that only a handful of observatories noticed at first. Yet those faint, almost dismissible pixels carried with them a story so astonishing that it rippled through the scientific world like an electric shock. What the telescopes captured wasn't the blazing arc of ice vaporizing under the sun, nor a plume of dust stretching across emptiness. There was no luminous fan, no diaphanous tail that should have unfurled like a celestial banner in the solar wind. Instead, there was only a compact, perfectly self-contained point of blue-white light, a comet without a tail, unmoving, unbending, stubbornly consistent, as though the laws of physics simply slid off its surface without leaving a mark. For months, as Atlas approached its closest point to the sun, scientists predicted the typical spectacle. Outgassing eruptions, boiling ices, surface fractures, jets of vaporized material flaring outward in chaotic bursts. That is what comets do. That is what every model demanded. But when Atlas arrived in the crucible of solar heat, the universe had other intentions. The brightness changed, yes, but the structure remained immaculate, smooth, symmetrical, quietly defiant. To some, this was merely an anomaly, an oddity that nature sometimes produces without explanation. To others, however, it was something far more profound, the first genuine smoking gun suggesting that perhaps, for the first time in human history, we had stumbled upon an extraterrestrial artifact hiding in plain sight. The real shock, oddly enough, did not come from the images themselves, but from the numbers. Observatories monitoring the trajectory of three Atlas began noticing a subtle, inexplicable drift, a deviation from the path gravity alone should have dictated. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory soon confirmed what few dared to consider. Atlas was experiencing non-gravitational acceleration. Comets do this all the time. Jets of vapor escaping unevenly act like tiny thrusters, pushing the nucleus this way and that. But Atlas wasn't wobbling or jittering as a natural comet would. Its motion followed a smooth, deliberate curve, almost as though it were under guidance. JPL's report cited a precise outward acceleration of 1.1 times 10 AU slash day, superscript 2, and a sideways drift of 3.7 times 10 AU slash day, superscript 2, values so controlled that they seemed engineered rather than accidental. Scientifically, these numbers implied a thrust strong enough to alter its course, but gentle enough to preserve its stability. To achieve such acceleration naturally, Atlas would have needed to eject nearly 13% of its mass, billions of tons of material that would have formed a brilliant, unmistakable tail. And yet the sky remained empty. There was no dust, no vapor, no lingering cloud of debris. It behaved not like a melting, disintegrating ice body, but like a system shifting energy rather than mass, as though it maneuvered internally rather than erupted externally. Equations worked. Nature did not. And so the whispers began, what if this wasn't a comet at all? To test the anomaly, astronomers compared Atlas to Comet Lemon, observed under nearly identical solar conditions just two days earlier. Lemon behaved exactly as expected, its tail streaming out in a graceful arc sculpted by radiation pressure, its profile widening like a blade of light. But when the same instruments turned to three Atlas, the difference was startling. There was no tail, not faint, not partial, simply non-existent. Atlas appeared as a pristine point of light, identical to its four months before, long before perihelion. Enhanced imaging, contrast filters, noise reduction. Nothing revealed the faintest hint of material escaping its surface. It's like the sun forgot how to touch it, one astronomer remarked. Some initially blamed equipment error. 
Maybe the coronagraph malfunctioned. Maybe atmospheric interference obscured the emission. But when observatories across multiple continents using unrelated instruments confirmed the same thing, the excuses fell apart. The tail wasn't missing because of error. It was missing because it never existed. And that absence was more disturbing than any explosion or flare could have been. Every cometary outburst ever recorded leaves a mark, a trail of chaos that lingers, a fingerprint carved into the darkness. But Atlas's flare of brightness left nothing, no residue, no detectable wound. It was as if the energy released had looped back into the object itself, as though it exhaled light without losing substance. The data no longer felt like passive observation. It felt like a message. NASA's photometric analysis only deepened the contradictions. Every standard model of comet behavior crumbled against Atlas's readings. It wasn't shedding mass. It wasn't heating normally as it approached the sun. It wasn't cooling afterward. Its temperature profile remained eerily steady, the kind of thermal consistency no natural object of its size and composition should maintain under extreme solar stress. Then came the spectroscopic surprise. The object showed strong nickel absorption, but almost no iron, an impossible ratio in natural cosmic geology. Such a ratio exists on Earth only in refined industrial alloys designed for strength and corrosion resistance. Exotic ices failed to match the data. Hydrogen sublimation left the wrong spectral fingerprints. Nothing fit. Atlas behaved like an engineered system stabilizing itself, managing heat like a machine rather than enduring it like a rock. Yet the scientific community hesitated to voice what the data implied. Publicly, they called Atlas an extreme outlier. Privately, many admitted that extreme was no longer enough. Something was happening that did not align with any known category of natural physics. At Harvard, Dr. Avi Loeb was among the first to state openly that Atlas didn't merely challenge explanation. It formed a pattern. Years earlier, the interstellar object Oumuamua had displayed the same hallmark behaviors. Anomalous acceleration, no outgassing, reflectivity inconsistent with rock, movement that hinted at some form of control or stabilization. Now. Three, Atlas appeared to be repeating the pattern, but with even greater clarity. Interviews with Loeb carried the weary energy of scientists who had repeated the same warning too many times to an audience unwilling to hear it. When the data repeats, he said, you're no longer studying coincidence. You're studying behavior. He urged NASA to release unreleased Mars orbiter footage that reportedly captured Atlas during perihelion arguing that the public had a right to transparency. His demand divided the scientific community between those who admired his courage and those who called him reckless. But even critics struggled to ignore the core issue. If the Webb and Hubble telescopes both confirmed that Atlas emitted no gas, no dust, no heat detectable by any known mechanism, then natural explanations were not merely strained. They were broken. The line between speculation and hypothesis was shifting under their feet. Alien technology was no longer the domain of pseudoscience. It was becoming statistically plausible. In a collaboration that shocked even skeptics, statisticians, and astrophysicists conducted a Bayesian analysis to quantify the natural probability of Atlas's behavior. The final estimate was almost comical in its improbability. 40 trillion to one against a purely natural origin. One could dismiss a single anomaly, the acceleration, the missing tail, the spectral oddities. But taken together, the anomalies formed a mathematical monument to impossibility. One researcher confessed privately, we've run out of coincidences. The model didn't prove intelligence, but it demanded explanation. Statistically, a comet doing what Atlas did was as likely as flipping a coin onto its edge 10 billion times in a row. Logically, the universe was pointing at something humanity was reluctant to see. As Loeb phrased it, the data doesn't lie. Our interpretation does. And then came the clearest evidence yet. Two sharp images captured hours apart, showing Atlas accelerating away from the sun with no detectable debris, no thermal emission, no exhaust, 
no trace of sublimation. Just a glowing, perfectly intact, self-contained sphere moving as though driven by an invisible, internal mechanism. For Loeb and others willing to entertain the implications, this was the smoking gun, the point beyond which denial became a choice rather than a position. Propulsion without exhaust is not natural. It is engineered. And if that is true, then what we witnessed was not the death of a comet, but the passage of a machine, not a relic of chaos, but a creation of design. Perhaps its mission is long over. Perhaps it is gathering data. Or perhaps, like any traveler moving through unfamiliar territory, it is simply observing in silence. When the last images faded from the telescope feeds, a heavy quiet settled over observatories across the world. Three Atlas slipped into the outer darkness beyond Jupiter's orbit, leaving behind no fragments, no trail, no explanation. Only an unease that settled like dust on the minds of every researcher who dared to confront the data honestly. The acceleration was real. The thermal anomalies were real. The impossible symmetry was real. Something had broken nine laws of cometary physics in a single event, and the universe offered no apology. If Atlas is natural, then our understanding of matter, thermodynamics, and astrophysics must be rewritten from foundation to peak. But if it is artificial, if it was built, then humanity is no longer the sole creator in the cosmic wilderness. It would mean that somewhere, perhaps eons ago, another intelligence crafted a device capable of crossing star systems disguised as stone, enduring solar fire, and drifting through eternity with purpose unknown. Perhaps it is a relic from a dead civilization. Perhaps it is still performing its function. Perhaps it was waiting to be noticed. Dr. Loeb once said, The universe is under no obligation to make sense to us. Perhaps 3E Atlas is a reminder of that truth. While we search the sky for familiar signatures, tails, plumes, debris, the truth may be something entirely unexpected, something designed precisely to hide from civilizations like ours until we are advanced enough to look deeper. For the first time in human history, the prospect of alien technology is emerging not from myths or movies, but from data, data that refuses to behave. As Atlas fades into the dark between planets, humanity faces a choice. Dismiss the impossible or confront the extraordinary. Because maybe after all this time, the message was never in a signal or a radio pulse or an encrypted transmission. Maybe the message was silence itself. A silence so perfect, so intentional, that it demands to be heard. A silence that seems to whisper, we were here, we are watching, we still are.